Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. In this video, we'll learn how to divide any number by 10, 100, 1000, or even 10,000, and so on. So let's take a look. How would you divide 3 by 10 or 3 divided by 10 if you didn't have a calculator? How could you do that and how quickly could you do that? Well, it's actually easier than you think. Just remember, just take note of what we are dividing. We are dividing a whole number by 10 or 100 or 1000. If we have a whole number dividing by 10, 100 or 1000 and we don't have a decimal point, we first must introduce the decimal point and we put that at the end or after the number. So step one, introduce decimal point. In step two, count how many zeros we have and make that many jumps to the left accordingly. So here we have one zero, which means we need to make one jump to the left of the number. So one zero equals one jump to the left. So we make the decimal point move to the left once because we have one zero and we can read we have point three. Now, since we have nothing before the point, we can say we have 0 0.3 or nothing point 0.3. 0 0.3 is the answer. So 3 divided by 10 equals 0 0.3. How quickly could you do 3 divided by 100? Again, we make use of the same method. Step 1, introduce the decimal point. Step 2, count how many zeros we have. So 2 zeros equals 2 jumps to the left. So we move the decimal point 2 places to the left. And any jump that is blank or it jumps over nothing means the decimal point is jumping over a zero. So we make one jump over the three and another blank jump over nothing. So as we can read, we have point zero three. And since we have nothing in front of the point, we can read the answer as zero point zero three. So three divided by 100 is zero point zero three. Coincidentally, the number of zeros in the answer also tells us how many zeros we divided by. Since we have two zeros in the answer, that means we divided by 100 in the question. How about 3 divided by 1000? The same method applies. Step 1, introduce the decimal point. Step 2, count how many zeros we have. 3 zeros equals 3 jumps. So we make 3 jumps to the left of the number. So 1, 2, which is a blank jump, introduces a 0. And 3, another blank jump, introduces another 0. So we have 0 0.003. And since we have nothing in front of the point, we can write 0. So the answer is 0 0.003. So 3 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.003. And if you look at the answer, we have 3 zeros in the answer, which means we divided by 3 zeros in the question. Let's take a look at another example. What is 786 divided by 10? So step one, introduce the decimal point. And step two, count how many zeros we have. One zero equals one jump to the left. So we move the decimal point one space to the left. As we can read, it's 78.6. So the answer is 78.6. You can literally get all these answers in seconds. Let's take a look at 786 divided by 100. Again, step one, introduce the decimal point. Step two, count how many zeros we have. Two zeros equals two jumps to the left. So we move the decimal point two places to the left and it moves just after the seven. So we have 7.86. So 786 divided by 100 equals 7.86. How about 786 divided by 1000? Again, step one, introduce the decimal point. Step two, count how many zeros we have. So three zeros equals three jumps to the left. So we move the decimal point three places to the left. And so the answer becomes 0.786. And since there's nothing in front of the point, it becomes 0.786. So 786 divided by 1000 is 0.786. Coincidentally, if you count the number of digits after the point, here we have three digits after the point, that equates to the number of zeros we have in the question. Let's take a look at another example. What if we had 1.3 divided by 10? How would we do that? In this case, we already have a decimal, so we don't need to introduce a decimal. So we can move on to step two, which is to count how many zeros we have. So one zero equals one jump to the left. So we move the decimal point one place to the left and it becomes 0.13. And since there's nothing in front of the point, it becomes 0 0.13. So 1.3 divided by 10 equals 0 0.13. What if we had 1.3 divided by 100? So since we already have the decimal point, we count how many zeros we have. 
Two zeros equals two jumps to the left. So we move the decimal point two places to the left and there's one blank jump. So we put a space filler there or a zero and we can read we have 0 0.013. And since there's nothing in front of the point, we have 0 0.013. So 1.3 divided by 100 equals 0 0.013. How about 1.3 divided by 1000? So we count how many zeros we have. So three zeros equals three jumps to the left. So we move the decimal point three jumps to the left. We have two blank jumps, so that means we need two space fillers or two zeros to fill the spaces. So we can read it's 0 0.0013, or in other words, 0 0.0013. So 1.3 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.0013. Again, if you count the number of zeros in the answer, that equates to the number of zeros in the question. Let's take a look at another example. What if we had 123.4 divided by a million? The same method applies. Since we already have a decimal point, we don't need to introduce it. We simply just count the number of zeros and make the corresponding number of jumps. So since we have six zeros, that means we need to make six jumps to the left. So we make six jumps to the left. And since we have three blank jumps, we put zeros in those jumps because the decimal point moves over nothing or three nothings or three zeros. So the answer, as we can read, is 0.0001234. And since there's nothing in front of the point, we can just say it is 0 0.0001234. So 123.4 divided by a million is 0 0.0001234. And that's all there is to it. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button. Share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.